Hello there, all you youngins. This is the first episode of Grandpa Cooks. And we're going to do one of my favorite foods. Bacon. So what you do, you get yourself a griddle. Griddle's good for lots of things. Pancakes. Bacon, of course. Shoot, if it's raining, you could even do burgers, steaks, doll. You could do anything. Punch of grilled cheeses. Get yourself a griddle. All right. I like to start with a cold pan. Because if you cook it too quick, it's all going to shrivel up. And you'll have burnt pieces and chewy, raw pieces. But you start low and slow. Like they say in the barbecue world, right? So I'm going to put it on a cold pan to start. Now I'm going to turn the fire on. I go a little less than medium to start. And then all you start separating them. And I like to lay them all flat, of course. And I like to have them touching just a little bit. I'll tell you why in a minute. Well, a couple reasons. I only got so much room in this pan. <laughs> and I gotta try to get them all in there, right? Two, when they start to cook, then they're gonna want to shrink. You know, bacon ain't this big when it's cooked. So they're going to want to shrink, but if they're all touching, then they kind of stick together and make a, make a nice big flat, you know, keep them, keep them all flat and it keeps them from shrinking so much to start with. They're going to shrink. There's no doubt about that, but I'm going to try to keep them flat as long as I can. And I'm still not going to be able to fit all these buggers in here. But I got tricks. You watch. I got tricks. Here's, here's trick number one. You can go right up the side. Again, that's another reason. This will hold them all flat. I got guardrails on this baby. Let's check it. Look at that. Uh, we got room, we got room. So, when they start cooking, they're going to shrink, right? Well, then I'll have room to put these other two on there somewhere. Got it? Alright, we're a few minutes in here. And you can see it's trying to it's trying to shrivel up and curl up here in the middle that's where those guardrails will help you out trying to keep it flat because i'm trying to cook all the bacon not just parts of it right all right so we're doing well here not too hot you can hear it it's it's starting to sizzle that's another thing you turn it up too high it's going to splatter all over the place you're going to burn your skin. it yeah, pop all over the place. Believe me. Alright, we're back with you here. Alright, so there's going to be some hotter parts of your pan than others. So I like to move the bacon around. Once we start flipping it all. You'll see. And I actually like to flip them a lot. Get, get it from every angle, every side. Well, it's only got two sides, duh. But I like to move them around 
And once you start moving them, then they're going to shrink. There's nothing you can do about it. But I've done a good job so far. These these have held on, held on, keep them from shrinking too much. So I like to start flipping when you start to see some color. So there's a little bit of color under here, right? So all right, we're going to start flipping now. But you can see they're going to want to try and curl. So same thing. I'm going to put those guardrails right back on. So you ain't curling on me, not yet. And you see they kind of stuck together too. That helps it kind of stay flat a little bit. So let's get this guardrail right back on here and smack it back down. Check, see, see, I'll keep it down. Come on now. What do you think you're doing? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. And those ones on the end, they're just going to have to wait. I'm going to keep flipping. I'll be back. Alright, we've done flipped them all. Except the guardrails. They're just going to have to leave. They did their job pretty good. You see, it's not curling up now, right? How about that? I'm going to, you know, flip these guardrails here. They still got it. we got to cook them too. So, so you don't have that guardrail? See what happens? Look at that. Alright, I think we're ready to Flip number two almost. Now, I'm not going to keep track of how many times I flip it, but you'll see. We're getting some good color. I'm going to have to turn this flame down. I don't want to get burnt bacon before all the all the fat cooks. Uh, I want crispy. Crispy bacon all the way throughout. Without burnt. You, it's, it's a delicate balance. It's Almost burnt. If you want it crispy everywhere, you're gonna almost have to burn it. That's why you can't have your flame too hot. You you have your burners up, you're gonna burn it. Nobody likes burnt bacon. All right, I forgot where I started. I think I flipped this one. I don't know. I definitely didn't flip that one. All right, you bugger. All right, we're doing well here. Doing well. Doing well. Well, that one wants to curl, so we'll smack you down there. Get down there. All right. Doing good. All right. How's everybody doing? All right, so we've got a couple more minutes gone by. Like I said, it is low and slow. You know, there's no rushing. There's no rushing perfection. You ever heard that? Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I just made that up. <laughs> okay. So I've been flipping and moving, and, and guess what? Guardrails disappeared, right? Everything shrunk up, so now I put the guardrails in line. Everybody, everybody's got to fall in line at some point, right? So I'm just gonna keep flipping, and we're doing pretty good keeping them flat, right? See, I told you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep flipping, and we're getting brown everywhere. Looking good. All right, we're about ready. All right, so next, get you a plate, put some, you know, paper towel on it there. We're going to put the bacon on there when we're done. And it's got to drain. It'll do a couple things. It'll drain, get the grease off of it, and it'll help it crisp up a little. Now, some of these, you can see the colors change. They're looking pretty good. Now, they're about done when, when there's no floppy. No more floppy. It's still a tiny bit floppy. So, some of these might be ready. Oh, yeah, that one's ready. See, it's firm. So, I'm going to take that one off. That's got a good color. That one's done. Now we can start moving stuff around. We're doing good here. There's another one. I can tell that one. 
Not, not floppy. That's good. I'm gonna start pulling some of these off. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to burn these. Oh no, they're still good. Look at that. Dark brown. No black. It's good. Just you don't want the burnt. Nice deep, deep golden brown, dark brown, like mahogany, mahogany color. We're doing, we're doing good here. All right, I'm gonna start pulling some of these off. All right, we're back. Just about done here. Got these last two. Who, which ones do you think those were? Oh, <laughs> you've been paying attention. You know those are the two guardrails. They're gonna take a little longer because you know they were doing their job earlier. But they, they're good now. They're they're good. Look at that good color. All right, we're good to go. So try to find a place to put them all so they drain off. Oh, and that's pretty much it. Episode, oh, this is episode number one. Grandpa cooks. This one was bacon. Oh, before I forget, what are you going to do with all that bacon grease? Don't tell me you're going to throw that down the sink. Because that'll harden up and you'll be calling a plumber in about two days. So get you a jar, you know, an empty jar. Wait till it cools down, because this pan is way too hot to touch. Wait till it cools down, and then you pour it into a jar. Now, you wait too long, it's going to harden up in a pan. So, you got to, you know, come back in a good, you know, half hour. And uh, if you want, you can save that. You know, Betsy used to make best green beans with some bacon grease in there. Ooh, I remember that. God rest your soul, Betsy. All right. Oh, well. All right. That's enough. See y'all. See y'all another time. Oh, I'm back. I just had to come show you up close. Look. Look at that. Not, not a single piece burnt. Nice. Everything's nice and brown. Everything's cooked. You don't see any white, white floppy fat, do you? No, because you cooked it slow. Let all that fat cook. Oh, you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this.